Hello everyone, so I just finished watching all seven episodes of Under the Banner of Heaven. This is a Mormon crime series that stars Andrew Garfield, Sam Worthington, and Daisy Edgar Jones. It is directed by Dustin Black. And yes, you'll be able to find, I watch this weekly as it aired on Disney Plus, so you'll be able to find all seven episodes there. But I know this also aired on FX, so if you have the FX channel, I'm sorry, you'll be able to watch it on there. But all seven episodes are around the hour mark in terms of its length, but the last episode is close to 90 minutes long. So now that all seven episodes have come out in this limited series, I'm going to give you my review for it. So yes, without further ado, let me get into my review for Under the Banner of Heaven. So this show is about to devote detectives face being tested. So basically Andrew Garfield's character being Brother Pyrie. He investigates a brutal murder seemingly connected to an esteemed Utah family spiral into Mormon LDS fundamentalism and their distrust in the government. So it basically spans seven episodes and the first episode you find out about the murder and then there's a little bit of past that they bring into this but a lot of this is them solving the mystery in real time and there is just ancient roots that connects like that spans hundreds of years that connects to the series of these murders and basically the LDS fundamentalism why this family so basically Sam Worthington's family why they believe in the things that they <laughs> that they do and how they use that to escape, again, just a lot of the government laws that are trying to get placed upon them that could derail a lot of their family in terms of taking away their lands, forcing them to pay taxes on land that they believe they should not be able to, and just kind of the downward spiral of their family, and again, just a bunch of grisly murders that take place within their faith, and of course this family's downward spiral. So one of the first things to talk about is just the immaculate performance that come out of it, especially from Andrew Garfield, where I do truly believe that this is his best acting that he's ever done because he's nothing short of phenomenal and perfect in this entire series. He brings just a lot of great emotion and just a lot of static to his character, meaning that he truly, truly, truly adapts perfectly to what his character is going through throughout the entirety of the series where you have a family man who's serious about his job but of course too it's very lighthearted. he has his mormon faith as the background so he's taking a lot of risk going on a case such as this one and just kind of seeing again his downward spiral and testing of his mormon faith and all these things coming into the show and his performance is nothing again just nothing short of perfect it's if he doesn't win an Emmy for this role, I'm going to be very, very surprised because, yeah, it's one of the best performances that I've seen in a TV show in a long, long time. And like not just singling TV series, Andrew Garfield absolutely knocks it out of the park. And also Daisy Edgar Jones brings a lot of humility and also to just fear into a character that she plays super well. Sam Worthington is a menace and just kind of the confusion of his character and bringing all of that in is really, really well done. And this actually does have a really amazing cast. You have Wyatt Russell, who also makes his way into this. Taylor St. Pierre is really, really good. Christopher, I always pronounce his last name wrong, but it's Heyerdahl, I believe is how you pronounce it. He's in this, and yeah, just the entire cast is so, so perfect. And it's, again, nothing short of some of the best performances that I've seen in a long, long time. The directing, the music, all of that just kicks in at the greatest times and really emboldens the scenes. Amazing cinematography, and again, too, just symbolism that they're able to play into sometimes the background of the series, but when it comes into the notes and symbols and clues and whatnot that they're finding, and again, just breaking down the Mormon faith is really, really well done. This show does have some of the best political, um, religious commentary, monogamy, polygamy, and marriage, and how that plays into the faith, and <laughs> how it goes against faith for personal gain, and a bunch of that is really brought into this. Again, just church for a state and keeping that separate there's a lot of amazing commentary on that but there's just so much that the show talks about and absolutely nails in so many ways that just makes it so intriguing from again the performances and then what the messages of the show do surely entail or something absolutely spectacular and i think something that everyone should watch based on your faith or not because it just really does a great breakdown of just again religious freedoms and how those can be 
abused in and outside of faith. And again, just some of the commentary is so, so well done. They truly break down just a whole bunch of different faiths and what that can imply no matter what your religion is, what your practices is, and if you're actually truly following or using your faith as a way to gain power. It's truly something special <laughs> when they do break it down and talk about it. And again, the actors' performances just absolutely empower this entire series to a whole nother level that just kept me intrigued the entire time. I will say that there are a few pacing issues from episode to episode that just things feel overly long or things that could have been skipped out a little bit or just dragged onto too much. But there isn't really a lot of that and I don't really find that it takes away from everything too too much because it does relate to the characters and you get to see them again changing and adapting even though sometimes it feels too long to get there what this show does and <laughs> the message that it conveys are absolutely incredible and super super good it is one of the best kind of crime series that I've watched in a long long time and one of the best miniseries that I've seen Again, in a long, long time, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's something that I mean, I would love to see more of these characters, but having this story wrapped up in these seven episodes is actually just perfect. And <laughs> there's not really much else that the show could have done better. So truly what they're able to accomplish in these seven episodes was absolutely incredible. Production level is very, very high. Acting level is very, very high. Just everyone from the costume design to the set design to the actors to the music to the directing was just everyone was on their a-game <laughs> throughout this entire series and again it just made for one of the best series to come out this year so really with everything taken together i'm gonna have to give under the banner of heaven a nine out of ten it's nothing short of phenomenal it's <laughs> again one of the best series that i've watched all year and i do feel like it could easily be in like my top 10 probably in my top five because of just how damn good it was and how solid and amazing the acting was again this is my pitch for Andrew Garfield to win that Emmy because he was, again, nothing short of perfect. I, I don't think anyone could have played this role better. He was just, again, perfect is the only word I can think of to describe it. So if you've seen Under the Banner of Heaven, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. And of course, if you'd like this review, definitely give it a thumbs up and you can check out everything I do on this channel. I'm going to plug this down below and I'll link some up top here for convenience sake. Thank you for subscribing and turn that little ringer on so you know when I upload new videos. So if you want to check out everything I do Twitch live stream wise, link to that in the description of this video and of course my channel bio. And in both of those places, you also find a link to the Media Mountain, which is my Discord where we talk about movies, video games, comic books, TV, pretty much everything that's awesome in this world. So you can definitely join that amazing community. I'll make it even more amazing than it is already. And yeah, just awesome, guys. Sky blue eyes I see a world behind them No more time Sinking into the side